Well, thank you very much, Jen. I appreciate that. Uh, I want to thank all of you for joining us today as well. It's uh, it's just great to come and to to hear about uh, th this topic. You know, as as, as was earlier mentioned, our, our webinar today is is being. Uh, conducted jointly with uh, the Natural Resources Conservation Service and the Livestock Poultry and Environmental Learning Community, and it's a, it's a real honor to be working together with them on this endeavor. So here we are, per and polyfluoroalkali substances. Say that three times, and, and if you can say that with, with, uh, without messing up three times in a row, you're an expert. This is take two. What I mean by that, that this is our second webinar looking at the, this area of PFOS. A few months ago, uh, in our first session, uh, we looked at the history of PFOS. We looked at its impact on water and reviewed a few of the removal or remediation technologies. You know, from, from that session, we saw that the, these uh, human-made chemicals, they consist of nearly 5,000 different compounds. Uh, PFOS has been manufactured and used around the world since the 1940s. So it's been around for a long time, but it's something that's just now becoming uh, on the forefront. For you know, for, for many of us, we've not heard a lot about it, but it's, it's something that, that the people have been looking at for, for some time. And they call these forever chemicals because they're so persistent in the environment and they break down very, very slowly. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a little different uh, perspective in addressing PFOS because we're going to be looking at the, the, the impacts of PFOS in soils, in manures, and biosolids. And we're going to be looking at the potential impacts that the, that the PFOS can have in agricultural applications. We're going to be maybe looking a little bit at the, you know, what are some of the background levels? Since, since it's been around for so long and, and it's in everything, you know, what are those background levels? And then what are maybe those levels of concern that, that we should be looking at as, as we're dealing with, with some of these issues and some of these, these different areas from uh, the P, PFOS from, uh, from a solids perspective? And I will just tell you, I'm, we're, we're so privileged today to have two of the experts uh, in this field. Uh, I mean, these are the nation's leading experts in the area of PFOS uh, research related to this area of the, the, the solids component of, of PFOS. So I'm really excited to have our two speakers today. Uh, our, our first speaker is, is Mr. Ned Beecher, and from 1998 to 2019, Mr. Beecher, he served as the executive director for NEBRA, and that is the Northeast Biosolids and Residuals Association. And what he did, he, he tracked research, worked with legislation, regulations, uh, provided information to members and to the public. Uh, NEBRA is a regional biosolids nonprofit professional organization, uh, advances best practices and sustainability in biosolids recycling. Ned now serves as a special projects manager for NEBRA. He leads projects, authors articles and papers, makes presentations on biosolids management around North America, and much of his work since 2017 has been on this area of PFOS. Uh, he is currently leading a nationwide project compiling state-by-state state and nationwide biosolids management data. Uh, he has two adult children, and he lives, works, and gardens with his wife in New Hampshire. Our second speaker is going to be Dr. Linda Lee. Uh, she's a professor at Purdue University, my alma mater, uh, in, in the agronomy department. Uh, she joined Purdue in 1993 after completing her bachelor's of chemistry, her master's in environmental engineering, and her Ph.D. in soil chemistry and contaminant hydrology, uh, all at the University of Florida. She has established a, a, a vibrant research program focused on understanding the, the process processes that, that govern, govern these environmental fate and the remediation of these contaminants in, in all various types of, of media, and it's for use in the contamination mitigation, decision tools, and management guidelines in both industrial and agricultural settings. For the past 15 years, uh, Dr. Lee has focused on PFOS research as related to environmental behavior, concurrence, and remediation. She has served on multiple national and international advisory groups and as an expert reviewer addressing water quality issues, fair land applied biosolid policies, chemical risk prediction and management, sustainable practices, and consumer products 
regulations involving these chemicals. I, again, I'm excited to have these speakers because of their expertise in this area, and I look forward to the information that they will be presenting today.